Hello. Um, I am here to demonstrate um, the uh, modification to the Frugal Filmmaker's original uh, PBC um, stabilizing handle design to Wolfgang Zittler's modification that he made for the Panasonic GH2 or other similar DSLR cameras. Well, I actually took the uh, idea concepts, the design concepts, applied the same physical principles as Mr. Wolfgang uh, Sigler did on his um, uh, design, um, but I made a few further modifications beyond that. Um, while he did not give the exact measurements, I could understand why he didn't, because every camera and every situation that every filmmaker was going to need was going to be different. In my case, the one thing I noticed that was missing in both the designs was where you could install what I would consider uh, essential accessories for the camera. Um, one is going to be the, um, the uh, extend, external microphone. With me, um, I prefer not to do my audio recording separately and have it uh, synced up in post-processing because that's just an additional effort, additional time, which I'd rather not do if I could do, if I could do quality audio recording in one shot. And by the way, this Canon, I'm, I'm sorry, this Panasonic GH3 is capable of good um, internal audio recording given that you attach a good external microphone like this Rode um, uh, stereo video mic pro to it. The built-in um, mics that are on this GH3 are practically unusable. I mean, they're, they're really bad. <clears throat> That's one thing that they really um, probably downgraded by intention from the GH2, which had a very good internal mic because in order to make it weatherproof, I'm speculating, they had to compromise uh, the quality of the built-in microphone. But anyway, uh, the point that I'm making is that I wanted to attach a, 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 an accessory um, uh, uh, area for this handle. And what I did was I attached uh, a, a T, um, let's see, a fitting, a PVC fitting, right in between this, po this point and this point, just like um, Wolfgang uh, Ziegler's design had, uh, but put it in between. Um, the screw design is exactly the same as the screw design um, underneath the camera. So what I did was I put that that screw and the same and the same plug, the hole drilled into it. The 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 um the um let's see if you look. I don't know if you can see that um that um, one quarter inch bolt actually gets screwed into this connector right here and this connector right here is something that I purchased separately uh, when I purchased my external light uh, uh, um, LED light for um, my general use but I thought hey this would be useful for this because you have a you have an accessory shoe here and an accessory shoe here so that'd be great you could put the the, the, the LED light here and the mic over here so great um, and as far as the uh, physical, it's the uh, characteristics, just like Mr. Ziegler uh, had with his. It's fully balanced, even with um, um, even with the accessories on there. See, it's fully balanced. So therefore, when you actually handle, put your uh, uh, hands on the handle, the side handles of this rig, um, as Mr. Ziegler had pointed out, um, there is uh, less overturning moment uh, that you're wrists are going to be uh, resisting in order to, to hold this rig up and balance it. This way by holding it uh, as uh, Mr. Ziegler uh, did in his design modification, it uh, the only uh, weight that you're going to be um, supporting is going to be the vertical weight. It's You're not going to compensate with that, that uh, overturning moment uh, that the uh, the, the weight distribution is going to introduce. So anyway, just wanted to point out some modifications which I think would be uh, very useful. Uh, I tried to make this as short as possible. reason why is because you don't want to make this too long, this portion too long, to where uh, your fingers are too far away from the camera itself. So anyway, just wanted to point that out and I hope this helps.